Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So again, this video is again with .NET and the Angular. So bulk upload. So when we say bulk upload in a single, normally, let's say if we talk about the master data. So you might have seen that master kind of data. Let me navigate to dashboard. Wait, what's the route we have? This is the same project I'm following from previous episode. So inside that user list component was there. So let me just navigate to it. So you can see over here we had that. Let me run the API project also. Here you can see gate all state, gate all district by state ID, dependent drop down example we have created in some uh, previous two episode back. Okay, now if I refresh, so here you can see. Wait, why data is not coming? Let me check the network call. Okay, project is yet to run, API project. Now it is running. Now we can refresh the page. Oh, still data is not there. Yeah, okay. So you can see data is coming. So now, we have created state, district, and city table. This is kind of a master data. Now let's say you have to create a now you have to create a page where user will be able to create new state, create new district, create new city like that. But this is kind of a very uh, small form, correct? What because in, if we check the state form, what do we have? Just the state ID and the state name. Let me show you the model. What do we have over here in the state? Only state ID and state form. So if we create a normal form and on click of save, if we save, so user has to click multiple time. Every time he will be clicking, opening the form, saving it. But instead of that, we have to create a functionality that in one go, he should be able to create multiple states. So that is bulk upload. Okay. Normally, what do we have? We have a normal post API where we send a single object and that we store into the database. But instead of that, I should be able to pass the array of object and that should get immediately dumped into my database. So that is bulk upload. So this is the uh, scenario we are going to see. So master kind of data. And where do we use bulk upload API? Where we have master kind of data, where in the form very few fields are there, where we have to uh, insert multiple data in a single API. There we use bulk upload API. Fine. So first I'm going to write the API. So this is the master controller I'm going to use. Let's say we want to create an API where we can store multiple state. So HTTP. Obviously, post API will be there because we will be sending the object. Then method name, add bulk state. Fine. Now we have to create the method. So public, sorry, I action result. It will be add bulk state. Now in normal uh, post API, what we do? We have an object over here, single object like this. This is API, which is going to accept a single object of the state. Correct. But now let's say I want to accept, uh, accept array of state means from UI from Angular, we will be passing the array of state object, right? So here we, instead of single object, we have to convert it into list of state. So now we can accept multiple object of the state object array of object we array of object we will accept over here now since here we are going to get array of objects so we have to use for each loop okay now inside this for each loop we have to create instance or we don't have to create the instance because same object we are going to get so underscore now consider like this same api you are going to use for create record also and the update record also for update, you will, normally in the bulk update scenario, now we don't have separate API for the update. The same API we use for create and the update. So here we need to write logic. If state dot ID, if state ID is equal to is equal to zero, means this is new record. So if it is new record underscore context dot state dot add, what we need to add? State object. Complete whatever the object we have got that we need to add it over here then underscore db context dot save changes. 
So this if block is for if you are creating new state, but if it is already there, right? Else, so if the record is already there, what do we need to do? That update logic. So for update, what we need to do? First, we need to read the data. So state data underscore context dot state dot single or default. By single or default, we read the data, right? What we will compare state ID is equal to state ID. Here we will get the data. If state data is not null, because whenever we read the data by using single or default, we should always add a null check. So if it is not null, we will update our state data dot state name. Only one field is there. Is equal to item. Sorry, state is there. No? So state dot state name and then underscore db underscore context dot save changes fine so see the logic let me just format it properly so whatever the object we are going to get we are using a for loop on that in that we are checking if the state id is zero we are creating new record we are inserting new data into our database if its state id is there means this is existing record we are updating so here we have to write the logical like this and after this for loop wait one more block is written. after this for loop we have to return our okay or created whatever the status we want to return created round bracket message state record got updated and we will pass the same array as the object so this is your bulk upload API, where in the single API, you are going to insert multiple data and multiple update also is going to happen in the single API. Fine. So this is very small object. So we have written very small code, but let's say employee object and some other fields are there. So here logic will be different. If we have to add some rules and regulation, we have to check something. So we will be adding like this. Fine. Now, so we have created the API. Now on the Angular side, if you are an al already an Angular developer, you might be familiar with form array or bulk inline editing. That concept we are going to use because at the single save, we have to pass all the array. Okay. Now, so in over here, user list component we will use. In user list, we were showing this hmm, drop down, right? So instead of it, I will be showing the state list. Fine. So at the top, we have this table, right? Call six. One more table I will create call six. And on the page load, now I will be making two API call to get all the state and to show the get all state or APIs already there. So whatever the data we are getting in this state list, I will bind it to the table. So state name, only one data is there. So we don't need remaining. Fine. Let's save and check. Okay. So see in this table, you can see we whatever the current states are there that are visible over here. But I need inline editing. So instead of showing this in a normal TD, I need to show this into the text box. So instead of showing it into the interpolation, I will be creating a text box. So input type. Whatever the state name is there that I need to bind it to the text box. We can bind it by using value tag also, right? But instead of value tag, we will be using ng model over here. ng model. And here we have to bind whatever the property name we have got. So this will go over here. Fine. Let's just save and check. So now you can see we got a text box with the value. Now, once you change something, now it is actually this text box value will get updated to the particular object in my array. Okay. Now, so this is, we are, we have done the inline editing. Now I need a add button. So once I click on add, a new empty record will be added over here. Once, uh, let's add the add button, then you will understand. Dot row, dot call 12. Let's add it at the end. Text end. Now 
here i will say add new now if i click on add new what i need to do once i click on add new an empty row should be with empty text box should be added but this is dynamic so when we have to add a one more row obviously we have to push an object into our array so let's create a function click on add new let's create this function so in this function we have to create a constant new obj local object i am creating here what do we need the things we have we have state id with id 0 because that's a primary key and then state name empty so we have created this object now this object we need to push to our array so this dot state list dot instead of push i will be using unship because i need the record at the top so i'm using unship so this object we will pass it over here let's save and check so now if i click on add you can see empty record got added now i can provide the new state name right now on click of we need a save button also so after this we will have a save button that will do our api call so just like this let me add one more button we will say bulk save and here on bulk save now from this function we have to hit our api so this dot http dot post api we need the url so almost url will be same till over here sorry master controller is the master after that our method name so method name is this then we need to pass array so if you see the acceptance of this uh, parameter we need to pass array of object of type state so here we need to pass this dot state list and dot subscribe result colon any and here we will say alert bulk data updated fine now let's add a debugger over here let's save it properly now currently we just have four state let's try to add one new state andhra or let's add rajasthan okay now if i inspect once I click on bulk update, we will get a debugger in our function. See, over here, you got a state list. If you properly observe, these are the existing state. New state is having state ID as 0. That's the same logic we have added over here also. Now, if you once we continue, it will go to the API side. See, we got a debugger activated. Now, whatever the data you send that we have received over here, See, the first record Rajasthan is with 0, remaining have the state ID because these are existing record. Fine. Now, here we will check inside the for loop, we are checking if state ID is 0, right? This is for Rajasthan. So, if state ID is 0, we are creating new record. Record got created. Then it will, for second element, now state ID, for remaining element, those are state ID is there. State ID is not equal to 0. So, it will go to the else block and it will update the existing record. So like this our for loop will iterate and bulk update was success now if even if i refresh see i got the rajasthan created so in a single go i can create multiple uh, state andhra pradesh gujarat and while updating let's say instead of goa uh, let's uh, existing record goa is the existing record let's say i want to update it goa 2 so now if you click on bulk save continue you got some new record also and you are uh, updating the existing record as well so even if i refresh you get goa 2 see so with the single api we are we are able to create new record as well and update new update the existing record as well so this is bulk update and inline editing in angular 
in, instead of this you could have create uh, you could have used that form array also but i wanted to just con clear the concept like how bulk upload api got created and how do we integrate in the angular fine so where what are the scenarios where we we use bulk upload kind of master data where data is at the time user wants to update multiple data in one go he don't want to create a form and one one record he want to create in one go we should be able to create multiple record and where forms are very fields are very less five to six fields are there so you can go for uh sorry what do we say bulk upload api okay so this was the small concept here i have explained the inline editing also and bulk upload api integration also again this is very project specific because this is not any angular topic or react topic or dot net topic this is logic so how do we create bulk upload api and how do we integrate that in angular side so that was in every project we have some master kind of data so we instead of having a normal crud application form we do that in bulk upload fine so i hope you are finding this dot net plus angular series where i wanted to uh, have idea about how apis are also getting created and how do we integrate that how this communication happens right again if you are new please do like subscribe just uh, like like this also if you need some particular topic to be explained let me know i will be creating a video on the same if you have some project idea also that also you can share with me you can connect with me on whatsapp uh, group link is already there you can join that in the video description and you can connect with me also fine so that's it again i will be coming with so many practical example where we what the topics or the uh, example or the scenario we use when we work on an actual project fine that's it thank you guys